My name is Grant Friedman, and this is the Introduction to Photoshop CS6 series on PSD Tots. Today we're going to explain a little bit about how Photoshop CS6 deals with vector graphics. In the past, vector graphics were sort of difficult to deal with. If you wanted to achieve a certain effect, let's say a gradient, you'd have to draw a shape, and then you would have to apply that gradient using a uh, gradient overlay in the Layer Styles dialog box. In Photoshop CS6, however, they've given us some new options. and so. Just to show you an example of what, what's going on here, I'm going to click on this layer here called Top Bar. As you can see, it's selected up here. And I'm just going to double click on the layer styles. As you can see, we've got a stroke, we've got an inner glow, and we've got a gradient overlay. Now, now in Photoshop CS6, we can achieve a gradient overlay and a stroke without the use of layer styles. So we're going to uncheck those. We're just going to keep the, the glow in there for the time being. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to click off of here. We just have basic, a basic black um, shape with some rounded corners here. We're going to go back in here and click on the top bar layer here. Now that we've got this selected, let's just click on any shape tool here. So now what we can see here is we've got a few new options. And this is something that you haven't seen in Photoshop CS5 or any other versions. And so um, as you can see, we've got here, it's, it's uh, a shape layer. And we've also got a, um, a fill, and we've got a stroke, and we've got a stroke size, we've got sort of a stroke style here, um, and several other options. To get started, but first we're just going to apply um, just a one pixel stroke, and that's what we had on our layer style. So let's go in here, just click on black, set it to one, and then we're going to go in here and we're going to um, align it to the outside. You also could have done that from, from um, this icon right here. Now we're going to go in and we're going to add a gradient. And so we're just going to click on the fill. We have several new options here. First, we could just say we don't want any fill at all. We could say we want a solid color. We could say we wanted a to add a gradient. Or we could add a pattern as well. But we want to go ahead and add a gradient. And as you can see here, we've sort of already got this selected here. We have several options here now you can see. So um, just like you would expect maybe to see an Illustrator um, or Fireworks or something, we have um, your gradient slider here. And so you can go in here and just double click on one of these colors. Let's make that just black. And then we can double click on this one. We can make this a little bit brighter if we wanted to. And that's pretty much it. If you wanted to, you could always change the, um, the angle um, or you can change the type of gradient here. But you know for the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to set it to 90 degrees in linear. Now we're just going to click OK and there we go. So that's it. And uh, you know we could probably go ahead and tweak this just a little bit more. But for the purpose of this tutorial I think we've explained enough and, and how powerful these new features for Photoshop CS6 are. So hope we've, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope um, you, you have fun playing with uh, the new vector features in Photoshop CS6. Thanks so much.